what it do. All right, look here. Get this video is right, directed towards yeah, young Pharaoh okay. concerning Bobby Hill. Now, personally, I don't see nothing wrong with challenging a person's teachings at all. But I do see something wrong with the approach on how you approach a person's teachings. Saying things like you don't give a shit about a person. You know, basically, uh, shitting on them in so many other words. Stuff like that shouldn't even be said. You might well just leave that out instead of saying stuff like that. If you're just going to attack the teachers, just attack the teachers. So the approach, the approach that Pharaoh made towards Bobby Hemet was incorrect as far as I'm concerned because it was sort of disrespectful. Even though he may not have meant it that way, but when you say things like that to somebody that opened up so many people's eyes and took fear out of people from the devil and hell and stuff like that, that's a disrespect in so many words. And Bobby Hemmett was the type of person that did lectures up to like six and seven hours long. And for Pharaoh to piece a little clip of what Bobby Hemmings said, you ain't gonna get the full understanding of what Bobby talking about. Cause Bobby always, if anybody had listened to any Bobby lectures, I mean like the whole lecture, he always give you pieces here and there. And then at the end, he'll give you the big boom. Like this is what he's talking about. So you can't take no piece of a clip from what Bobby had said and think that that is exactly the all of the all as far as like what he's talking about but a lot of people know that the young brother pharaoh his ego didn't spread like a wildfire so he loved to pick little what he called juices juicy parts out of what a person said to feed that ego that wildfire so not taking nothing from the brother, but I personally believe he's reached his peak. Anytime you just keep on dwelling in the shit pool, after you didn't expose the shit, such as um, a light, such as uh, nature boy, after you didn't expose all that stuff, and the people have had an opportunity and so many opportunities to wake up to what a person's doing. I mean, you didn't basically done your job on that behalf. But when you just keep on dwelling in the shit, the set, the shit pool, and you don't know how to take your nose out, out the fucking shit, you done reach your damn peak. When you gotta wake up with some with nature boy on your mind, go to sleep with nature boy on your mind. You eat nature boy. God damn, you do all this. This you give nature boy all your energy. You done reach your peak. You ain't got shit else to talk about. You used to teach. Now all you talk about is bullshit, gossip. If them folks want to fuck their life up, that's their life. You done already told their ass what was going on. You did a good job at that. But when you just keep on dwelling in that shit, make you look bad and it make you look childish. Now when it comes to Bobby Hammond, Bobby was a master at references. He wasn't like gain no grills and shit. Just saying shit. Bobby always gave references. Always talked about the books where he got his information seen. Oh, he's a Bobby said such and such said this. Okay. He'll say Valentine talked this or something like that. Or somebody else said this. He didn't just make up shit out of his just out the blue. So I give I give Bobby that type of respect. Then the then Pharaoh said something about Bobby Hemi said something about um the angels at the gate or some shit, homosexual, some shit like that. Now from my understanding, I listened to it, it sounded like Bobby was quoting what somebody else said or some shit. But anyway, I know I read some gay shit 
in the Sumerian tablets where it was saying that any time that one of the one of the Anunnaki wanted to be the king of Nibiru, they had to face whoever the the present king was, and they had to fight. But this shit say wrestle, and they had to wrestle butt ass naked. Okay, that's some gay homosexual shit. And guess what, young Pharaoh? Guess who's on the planet of Nibiru when you read the Sumerian tablets? And that shit, it ain't no, it ain't no book. It's tablets. That shit in stone, and it predates the Bible by like two thousand years. It says you got Asar. Asar is actually on Nibiru. That's some Egypt shit. Okay. Not only that, you have Allah. He's in the Sumerian tablets. You have Enki, which is Yah, which is Yahweh. He's in the Sumerian tablet. They all coexist at the same time on the planet Nibiru. All right, that's just what it is. You have Newt in the Egyptian pantheon, and you have Anu. Where you think this shit coming from? Regardless of if, if one coming from the other, this shit is one and the same. It's talking about the same gods. They just pass down different names and different cultures. That's all it is. All I'm talking about is the information that I read. That's it. That's what this shit say. And then young Pharaoh said something about uh, the Baphomet didn't come from, from black people. But shit. Who was on the planet first? And who taught the goddamn white folks? Huh? Was not the Moors the custodians of the Egyptians? That's what George G.M. James said any damn way in his book, Stolen Legacy. That's what I read any fucking way. Now, I don't know what the hell Pharaoh talking about. Now, and ain't no damn European come out no cave speaking the Greek language. That shit was taught to them by black folks. So the Greek language is actually a African language. All right? I don't give a fuck what nobody saying. That's what it is. Ain't no motherfucker come out the cave that was grunting speaking a language. Some shit is just common sense. Everything ain't got to be read. And a lot of y'all like to use the word African for black people. Just African, African is African it. God damn it, we was here on every damn continent. We the original Chinese, Japanese, Native Americans, Australians, Europeans too, goddamn. We the original everything. All this African shit. Bottom line, we the natives on this goddamn planet. We the natives on this soil. We are the original people of this planet. And then the word, they say the word more. He said the word more come from the word uh, mortaros or some shit. And it means stupid, a stupid person. Yeah, but from whose point of view? European point of view. Okay, black people that make that shit up, you going about what somebody, you you going about what a Caucasian wrote. And that doesn't make it right. Hell, it doesn't. Shit. Because according to the Return of the Ancients by Empress Vernissa, however hell you say her name, she said that um, the god of Sirius, Awas, he gave a he gave a totally definition of the word more. Come from, I think it's like uh, come from uh, Marbury, and then it come from like a another ancient word. I forget what the shit is, but it don't, it, don't, it don't say nothing about no damn stupid person. I know that. I rather go by her definition than a damn European definition. How, who are they to define melanated African beings? God damn, he going by that shit. I can see if the Europeans were the original people of the planet. Then, yeah, I mean, I go by the shit then. Because they seen other nations from a child on up. Which means that they would know them in and out. But it ain't that way. It's the other way around. And from my research, when I was reading about the Bobman, it said that before it was a go head, it was a ram's head. I don't know. I didn't write that shit. That's what I read. And I could believe that because you had an ancient world and the ram horns represent power. 
So, I mean, I know that Europeans, they always remix the shit that we have and demonize it. Just like they say hell is a bad place, but actually, the core of the earth is where all the ancient ancestors went. Like the Atlanteans, the Lemurians, they call that place the Garth. Okay, but the, the European Greeks called it Hades. So shit, that was hell for them because there were a lot of black people went. So if you can believe that definition when it con when it concerns a melanated African being, that show right there, your ass ain't on the right track. And we are considered their devil. Yeah, why would the fuck they say something positive about us any fucking way? That's based off history now. Based off shit they have written. Not some shit I'm making up. If you read the book Intercoleptus, it tells you that the black man is a devil to the European. Read that shit. Even the Greeks, like I said, they call they called it Hades, the center of the earth. Hades is hell. And that's where the Atlanteans went. All you gotta do is read the Abram tablets. Those said my brothers, the Atlanteans, went to a place called Shambhala. That's in the core of the earth. Shem, temple, Allah, God. Shambhala. So a lot of y'all may say that the word Allah is only 2,000, I mean 1,400 years. Or it come from the word a lot. Shit, I don't think so. Because the emblem tablet is 36,000 years old when they carbon dated. And you got the word Allah in the emblem tablets written by Thoth, a.k.a. Enoch, a.k.a. Tahuti, who was, was in uh, Egypt. Shit, that's the same person. That shit, 36,000 years old. You just got two words that are combined into one. Shambhala. And then for some out of life, Pharaoh. Pharaoh. I don't know if you're going to see this or not. I really don't give a shit. But I thought since I have a voice, like everybody else got a voice, I'll let it be heard. For you to try to uh, basically shit on uh, my boy Bobby See Bobby my nigga Just like Elijah Muhammad talked some good shit All of them had good shit uh, you, don't, you don't eat the bones You spit the bones out You eat the good part Okay like if you eat fish Okay it's a lot of shit I don't agree with nothing no everybody say Okay You just gotta decipher what's good and what's bad But Cause you, I mean, shit, you've been attacking people personal lives, okay? What about the information, okay? You, you may say that, oh, his students, they students was coming at me, they was getting personal, so I got personal with them, so I attacked they, attack they, uh, they teach. Well, the teacher didn't attack your ass. Shit, attack the ones that attack you. But Bobby Hemmett, Bobby Hemmett didn't read way more books than you, Pharaoh, young Pharaoh. Way more books. He been doing that shit a very, very long time. And he's a far more greater reference master than you when it comes to naming books and where he got his information from. All he did was reference books. That's all he did. All he ever did. And that damn bathroom, that shit is esoteric. God damn. Anything that they want to keep black people from, all they got to do is demonize and y'all niggas run. Ah, oh, that's evil, that's evil, that's Lucifer, that's evil. The fuck? Ain't shit evil except somebody's intentions. God damn. A fucking, a fucking symbol? How the fuck Y'all motherfuckers ain't got no common sense. A fucking picture? A fucking statue evil? Stupid motherfuckers. That shit can't do no good or no, or no harm. Alright? All that is, when you look at that, you got to. All it's showing is the Kundalini going up the middle. And then you got the star in the middle, which represents the pioneer glen. Then you got the bottom pointing up and down. As above, so below. And the horns and shit represent power. 
And it wasn't no fucking gold at first. It was a fucking ram, from what I read. I forget the name of the book, but that's what I read. And I can believe that the Moors taught them that shit. Okay, because the Moors taught them masonry. They just didn't learn that shit on their own. If that shit is Masonic, the goddamn Baphomet, if it is Masonic, then the Moors had to have taught that shit. And they are African descent people. And we know through study that Count St. Germain taught them masonry. Okay? So, and his ass was of African descent. He just looked Italian. But he had African descent in him. And he was a Moor. Shit, he knew the culture. Because to be a Moor ain't nothing but a fucking culture. Just like to be an Atlantean is a fucking culture. To be an Egyptian is a fucking culture. That don't define, de define who you truly are. These physical bodies ain't nothing but a fucking vehicle. All that shit is cultures. That's it. Heritage. Got something for you to know how to blend in that society. That's all it is. Does not define who you truly are. Y'all get shit entangled. So some of y'all will say, I'm a Moor. Don't know shit about the ancient Moor culture at all. That's not who you, that's not who you are. A fucking Moor or an African. That's not who you are. Those are fucking cultures. Fucking land masses. Damn. You consciousness, goddammit. Trapped in the fucking prison house physical body. That's who you is. Hell. All the rest of this shit is an illusion. Illusion is something that appears and it soon fades away. That which is real never changes. Damn. Your soul and your consciousness. And you ain't even a soul because shit, something has to operate it. It don't operate on its own. The consciousness operates that. Should know that just by having an out-of-body experience. Look, the African people done had many, many, many different cultures. I guess next we're going to be, we're going to be Shane Tang. Choose a culture. We're going to be Moors. Choose a culture. We're going to be Zulus. Choose a culture. We're going to be Africans. Choose a culture. God damn. After, to be an African is to be born in Africa. African descent. When, uh, when in actuality, we are the originators, we are the original people of every land mass. Shit, the whole, all the shit used to be connected at one time. What they call Pangea? Y'all surface dwelling, shit. That surpassed the word Africa. Living off words and shit. Y'all just renting these shits, these damn bodies. Taking all that pride and building your ego because you living in a black body. Motherfuckers don't even belong to you. You renting them shits. Dumb motherfuckers. That's the truth. These bodies, I don't give a shit what color it is, belong to this planet Earth. This shit going right back. I bet your ass can't take it with you when you leave. All y'all be doing is game banging shit. That's what you call that shit like game banging. And it got so bad now to the point where people game banging knowledge. They banging on somebody else's knowledge. Game banging physical bodies. I got the melanated body. I got the superior body. Who gives a fuck? Shit. These motherfuckers is temporary. Game banging every goddamn thing. That's ego. That's why the ego is the enemy. And that shit must be killed. Anyway, until then, peace. I just thought I'd share a little insight to make you think.